some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Washington State with the frauditor known as El Dope Dog as he gets trespassed from a privately owned business for five years. Now, a bit of a warning. This video was well over an hour long and was broken up into several parts. I mean, it's just what he tends to do with his videos. I mean... It just doesn't really make any sense until you put them together in uh, some way, shape, or form. And then there's the issue of the audio. I mean, he has his audio so damn low that you can't hear anybody talk, even himself. So at times I had to boost the gain by, well, 2,000% to hear anybody, especially the officers. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Yeah, wait till you see him. Fucking crazy. I'm gonna put this guy on camera and put him on blast. I wouldn't call anybody around there crazy other than you, dude, because, well, you're the one who gets trespassed from just about every uh, building that he enters in your own hometown, while the guy you're about to uh, pester actually owns his own business and uh, works up very hard, apparently. Unlike you, you jobless frauditor. The fucking, uh, employee at uh, Bagdon's, they picked up a big old boulder. Kind of thought he was going to try to throw it at me before he ducked into the garage door. Fucking people. You can never, you can never trust anybody. Those guys were, I'm sure of it. You never know. I'm sure that they were uh, law-abiding citizens, but you just never know. Oh, look at the little puppy. Oh, honey, that was her name. Well, she's calling her man. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, where should I go? I know, but where's where's uh, where is here? I uh, know, but I'm on public property. Cause I can. Oh no! What's up, dude? How's it going? How's it going? What's up? What's up? Are you yet business right here? Hey, dude. Um, please stay a little bit away from me, cause I'm not into girls, man. I, I, I'm not into guys. Okay, okay, dude. Uh, you just said that you weren't into girls. Then you said you weren't into guys. So, are you asexual, or are you just something else entirely? I mean, don't tell me you're an S.O. Don't tell me you're into uh, the young ones. Uh, please don't tell me that. So, so? What's up? So? This is actually a private alley. You know that? Oh. You live back here? Where does it say private alley? Do, do you live back here? Maybe. Okay. Okay. Well, well. so what's up? Nothing. You came up to me. I didn't ask you anything. Oh, 
делать там. Yeah, so um, this guy was able to barely hold on to his emotions. Looked like he was about to try to grab my stuff. That's assault. Wow, you are really bad at telling lies. That guy held himself together pretty well at this point, uh, and he came nowhere near close to assaulting you. I mean, you need to go back to wherever, go back to school or something, and learn what assault is all about. What's <laughs> Tell me what's up. Like I called him over here. He comes up to me. What's up? Uh oh. Check it out. We got a we got a cup caller. We got a snitch. This is not private property. Yes. That goes the Napa guy, right? Pretty sure it's the Napa guy. Now, where does it say private? Hey, I'll take off so you guys can do your drugs, all right? Uh, dude, are you sure that this is not privately owned? I mean, there are a lot of alleyways that are indeed privately owned, especially by privately run businesses, you know, that kind of thing. You might want to uh, check up on that. And uh, calling these guys drug dealers or something to that effect, yeah, dude, you might want to uh, check yourself and uh, make sure you're not uh, delving deep into slander or libel or anything like that. A little longer than a few minutes later. One thing is in their building, but if I'm inside their building, then that's trespassing. This guy's gonna lie to the police and try to say I'm doing something wrong. What am I doing wrong? Well, you're kind of harassing us, and you're re recording some of my customers. So, for what reason? I, I, I'm sorry, but if your customers feel harassed, what do you think they should do about that? Maybe they don't want to be recorded. Uh huh. God bless your heart. God bless your heart. I already know. I came back here earlier. Yeah, I was over here, but I could see your camera from here. So that means I know your camera can see me too. So, uh, what are you guys into? Meth? This is the zombie. <laughs> this is the zombie from the other day. Oh. Oh. Hey, you didn't call the police, did you? Because if you did, I'm going to have to stay here. Yeah, I did. Uh, you did? You're calling the cops? Yeah. Are you on hold with them? I'm calling the non-emergency line. Smart. Thank you. Thank you. They should tell you that they can't do nothing, and you can't do nothing either. I've been here and done this before. Now you have to done what? What's this? Yeah, someone else came and did the same shit. Uh-huh. They got the same thing. How'd that work out for you? They got this, uh, they got trespassed. Uh-huh, because they went on your property. Oh, this, yeah, this, this is a private. This is not private. It is. Where is it marked, private? You know, he goes back and forth like this for a number of minutes. I'm not going to bore you with it because it's the same thing over and over again. I mean, he just doesn't come up with anything new. So let's just go ahead and skip to the point where uh, his prediction, well, doesn't exactly come true for him. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? 346 minutes later. Here we go.
Ну, да. Notice how they're not supposed to speak to me. Why are they not allowed to speak to you, El Dopey Dog? I mean, do you have a restraining order on them or something like that that says nobody on the police force is supposed to talk to you? Or do you think you're some sort of deity where uh, if they dare speak to you, they somehow keel over with a broken heart or something like that? I don't know. You explain it to us, dude. Please explain that to us. You want to copy your paperwork? You come back here in the next five years, you'll be subject to arrest, okay? Uh oh. No any paperwork? No? Yes? Okay, so the way trespass works is I need a verbal warning first. Verbal warning. Do you want your paperwork? Now, the way the verbal works is I have to step onto his property. Nope, you don't have to step on the property. Oh, really? So you're trespassing my eyes. You're trespassing my eyes. I never stepped on his property. Uh, dude, they're not just trespassing your eyes. They're trespassing your entire body. I mean, that pathetic little argument about, oh, you can't trespass my eyes. I mean, that really just doesn't work out. I mean, frauditors still get trespassed every single day well not every single day but most days i mean dude you should know better than that but then again you've gotten trespassed from so many places in your own hometown one wonders how you haven't been completely run out of there yet let me explain again the way trespass works is if i go into his store he gives me a verbal then I have to leave. If I don't, then it becomes criminal. Understand? I never stepped foot onto his property. I'm on the public. It doesn't matter. They have the right to refuse business, just like in Can I trespass you from right here on the street? No. He can't trespass me either. I'm in the public. Can't trespass people in the public. I didn't do anything wrong. You don't have to. Really? I don't have to do anything wrong to get trespassed. Great, great. Keep digging yourself in a deeper hole, you idiot. Just don't come back on the property, deep. That's all right. What's your name and badge number? My name is Officer Lee. Badge number is 1K29. 1K29, Lee. Now you. Officer Chris, 127. 127, Chris. Do you have any questions for us or anything? No. And you don't want to copy your paperwork? I don't think that doesn't help. If I'm free to go, I'm free to stay. You're just not on this property. That's right, right. Yep, that's correct. You just can't come onto this property. And I never property. came onto the property. You don't have to come onto the property. Well, quit talking about me coming onto their property. I'm trespassed from their property. I'm saying you cannot come now onto this property. Nope, that's not how it works. Okay, well, if you come back onto the property, you'll be subject to arrest, okay? You know what? I want a supervisor. Bring a supervisor. Call for one. Call for a supervisor. I'll call for one, but he's not available at the moment. So that's a no. You're not calling. Thank you. Is your badge? Is your is your camera on? Good. Good. Well, for the next fifteen to twenty minutes, he whines, cries, and complains, and everything like that. But you know, it just really doesn't get him anywhere. So let's just go ahead and go to his little walk of shame and then we're out of here. So let's enjoy that. Yeah, they see me going back into the alley. Let's see what's going on here. Trespass me from their fucking property. I never got onto their property, these goddamn douchebags. 
I don't know whether they don't know or they're acting stupid and getting it wrong. Either way, they think that they're protected by qualified immunity. Oh, boo-hoo, you dumbass frauditor. It wasn't the police officers who trespassed you from this property. It was the owner of the property that did that. You might want to get your head out of your ass so you can figure that one out. I mean, you've been trespassed from the bus station. You've been trespassed from many properties uh, in your own hometown. One would think that you would have learned this by now. But no, nope, uh, you get it wrong every single time, and, uh, well, you end up paying the price up for it. So maybe one day you'll get trespassed from enough places in your hometown that, uh, you will just have to move away because nobody will service you anymore. So, oh well, have a nice time getting fun banned from the next place. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?